this this week you know these fuckers uh oh i promise you i'm not trying to deliberately be political i really am not it's just at us it's just this administration keeps saying the stupidest things but I'm cool with you finding political stuff because I live for the rage and annoyance of the YouTube commenters. I don't. I do. They get so fucking mad. Anyway, let's start the intro. Y'all watch this show for free. Each week, Catherine. Radio Dead Air audience, go out the worldwide interwebs, find all sorts of horrible stuff, bring it back here for a little segment we like to call What the Fuck is Wrong with You? And I am the guy who gets annoyed when a television writer fucks up science. Oh, Dan, too. Oh, man. Dan like, gets annoyed when they fuck up guns. Like, basic, he's like, he ran out 14 bullets ago. Basic science. I hate that they cannot. I but So rocket launcher doesn't do that. And I'm like, oh. So this week. And I'm amazed, honestly, that this did not come out of the mouth of, of, of Sean Spicer. But, you know, we're, I'm sure he'll be back here again so, real soon. R real soon, because he's... <laughs> His ongoing war on Dippin' Dots. Yeah, um... This one came from Kellyanne Conway. Oh, cool. Now, as you may have Stop heard... Stop the curtains! Stop that! <laughs> hey! As you might have heard, there have been some allegations that... I'm, which ones are we talking about? That... President Obama was responsible for... Oh, yeah, for... How, how he cat-burgled into Trump Tower personally and put a camera in the microwave? I just... Did I, did I, I skip to the... Did skip I skip to the... Yeah. Did I blow the... Spoiler! Conway suggests Trump campaign may have been monitored in, quote, any number of ways. And these ways... This is, <laughs> quote... Conway in the new interview mentioned, quote, microwaves that turn into cameras. Quote, we know this is a fact of modern life. Microwave, mi microwaves that, oh boy. Somebody saw Transformers one too many times. Okay. Like she probably thinks that little fucking boombox transformer that can hack anything and talks like a really annoying i don't even know what she probably thinks that shit's real and that obama has one okay while it is very true that anything you have that has access to a camera or a microphone and a wireless connection is yes. in fact insecure and a wide open target for being hacked like the smart TV, like your TV can also watch you. Samsung is, it, they've shown Samsung can record what you're saying and shit because it's always on. It's supposed to be listening for you to say, change the channel. They can record that shit. Right. There was a toy a few weeks ago, a uh, bear that, that had an internet cloud connection. And it was recording the conversations that children and parents were having. And then the data got out. So yes, that is a real thing that can happen. Like, we live in a remarkably insecure world. Like, privacy is... Privacy is kind of a thing of the past. Except, have you noticed all of these smart devices that came out for your kitchen? There's a smart bread maker. There's a smart... Yeah. There's a smart uh, refrigerator. I don't know why you need that. Have I still don't get why my sister's fridge needs Wi-Fi. I don't, I don't understand why you need that. Have you noticed there's one device that has not come out in a smart version. Well, the microwave, because it, there's radiation. <laughs> That's not gonna work. To begin with, a microwave oven is internally shielded 
against radiation getting out. If it wasn't, you'd be on fire. And you'd have a, all the cancer. You would, you would just- a microwave cooks using microwave radiation. It's not good for you. It's kind of like you have a little box with Firestar in it, in your home, and you ask her to cook your food. And, and on top of that, the act of turning on a microwave oven creates interference with Wi-Fi communications. Someone on Twitter said, of course, it's the microwave spying on you because that's the only place you can't put tinfoil. <laughs> and I was like, that's a good point. That's how they get you. Well, hi, Dottie. I oh, mean, hi, Dottie's butt. Hi, hi, Dottie's butt. Hi. Come on here. If you're going to lie, at least make your lie plausible. Yeah. You could literally have picked any other appliance in a modern kitchen. Blender. One. Fridge. Even coffee other, maker. Coffee maker. There are internet connected coffee makers. Yes. Like you could literally, it, you had to try to get this wrong. I, and, and it, it. <sighs> also, I'm not sure I believe that Donald Trump has seen a kitchen anytime in the past 20 years. No. So. We, we, I just, it. I love us. We know this as a fact of modern life. No, it's not. <laughs> it's actually demonstrably not possible. You strange woman. Well, these people aren't super into the science, you know? They're not super into anything that requires or, thinking. Or the, or the. You just, you just babble in nonsense and expect. Uh. So now I'm expecting. The heartland of America. I'm exp Don't throw away their microwaves. I'm exp they're going to be outside bashing their microwaves with fucking baseball bats because Kellyanne Conway said there's a camera in there. Because Obama's watching you. The fuck is wrong with this? Every hungry man dinner you eat, Michelle Obama is judging you because they're not healthy. God damn it. Like, if anybody's watching your microwave, it's Michelle, because she's judging yeah. your processed food choices. Jesus Christ. <sighs> well, we have another one, and it's Florida, and it's serendipity. <laughs> Everyone sent me this story. Every You remember the usual suspects with, with uh, Gary Oldman? Everyone! He wasn't an usual suspect. Not the usual suspects. Uh, professional? Professional, that's it. Yeah. Everyone sent me this story. Here, let, let's find out why. Lawyers, Miami lawyers' pants erupted flames during arson trial in court. Wow. That's ironic on more than one level. That is that is a confluence. That is magical what happened there. Funnily enough, I don't know if you know this. In Ireland, they call lawyers solicitors. Yes. And I think that might be because it always used to crack me up that whenever my father said lawyer, his thick, thick Irish brogue, I bring this up for St. Patrick's Day, obviously, mm. made him pronounce it liar. <laughs> you gotta get yourself a good liar the irish bro pronounces lawyer as liar which i always found funny and interesting and i'm pretty sure that's why they call them solicitors there but a miami defense lawyer's pants burst into flames wednesday afternoon as he began his closing arguments in front of a jury in an arson case Steven Gutierrez, who was arguing that his client's car spontaneously combusted and was not intentionally set on fire, had been fiddling in his pocket and he was about to address jurors when smoke began billowing out of his right pocket. Rushed out of the Miami courtroom, leaving spectators stunned. The jurors were ushered out. Gutierrez returned unharmed with a singed pocket, insisted it wasn't a staged defense demonstration gone wrong. Instead, Gutierrez blamed a faulty battery in an e-cigarette. Uh-oh. No, no. 
No, Your Honor, I really just am happy to see you. Really happy. Yeah, that's that's a couple things here. Number one, that that's there's like too many jokes. Like there's the burning sensation joke, there's the lawyer joke, there's the arson joke. Like which direction do I go? I'm I'm locked up. There's also look, these things you can turn them off. You're supposed to turn them off when they're in your pocket. Are they combustible? Well, yeah, they have a lithium ion battery in them. Anything with a lithium ion battery is combustible. Your cell phone. So it could just blow up in your pants? Yeah. Your iPhone could just blow up in your pants. Your laptop could just blow up in your pants if you have really big pants. <laughs> but yeah, any anything with a lithium ion battery is susceptible to explosion if it's improperly used. Sorry, I'm trying not to do my loud typing thing. I probably failed. You, one of the easiest ways just to make sure these things don't malfunction is you turn them off. And hey, guess what? Here's another thing you can do. Take the battery out. Although this battery is green, so it seems invisible. I'm holding invisible battery. But you can take the fucking battery out when it's in your pocket. It's safer because it's electronics. But yes. So, like, why did you have your e-cig in your pocket and cord anyway? Yeah, yeah. D put it in your jacket pocket. Right. It's less or, likely to go off in your jacket pocket. I mean, you're a lawyer. You probably have a briefcase. Yes. Because I, I don't know. Like, I feel like there's something I. And I know this is just judgmental and weird. I feel like there's something unprofessional about being in front of a judge with lumpy pants. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, for another thing, look at this thing. Right, like, they're not small. This can fit in my pocket, but it's not. It's, and it's, it is a hefty device. So it's, it's, so it drags. If I'm not yeah. wearing a belt, this thing will yank my pants down. It's, it's not fucking do pay, real. Do you pay extra for that feature? No. I should, <laughs> though, you know, but they haven't charged <laughs> me yet. Um... Tara's typing sounds like she's using an old school typewriter. No, it doesn't. No. Have you ever heard an old school typewriter? I'm just, I'm just really rough on my little chiclet keyboard. And of course, the other thing here is just the confluence of events that had to bend. I know, an arson case, a lawyer. Pants on fire, not jacket on fire, pants, pants on fire. Like the only part that would have been better if he if it had been like Jeff Sessions, like you know. oh, that's that would have put it over the top, you know. That man looks like the Keebler Elf took a bad turn in his life. <laughs> Just yeah, good God's sake, for fucks, a little professionalism, sir. A little Please. Professional. I mean, I'm glad you weren't. I'm glad you weren't hurt. Yeah, I mean, like you didn't burn your own junk off. That think, suck. That's he'll think about that know. next time. I'm pretty damn sure. Try to keep flammable things away from your junk whenever possible. That is that is a one to grow on. I mean, luckily for me, with my iPhone, women's pockets don't come with functional. Nope. Women's pants don't come with functional pockets because I don't know why. So it usually winds up in my purse or my back pocket because I don't own anything with front pockets big enough for my fucking phone or a goddamn lip gloss. That's fine. I'm not bitter. No. We were talking about things on the Internet spying on you and this next product. You ever heard of that that old phrase, a problem in 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 search of a solution, a, a solution in search of a problem? Yes. Who the fuck needed this? The smart condom. <laughs> yeah. No. The icon smart condom, which marks itself as the world's first smart condom. 
It's actually a ring that fits over a boring dumb condom and claims to track the exercise of your man bits as well as detect chlamydia and syphilis. The ring, first announced last July, is currently available for pre-order on British condoms for £60, about $74, with an unknown release date. You can't actually put a ring on yet. The company says it won't take your money until the product has a firm release. Caitlin Petro, uh, Petrokovitz. Pa Petrokovitz? Whoa, whoa, why, why are you playing? Don't play. Fucking autoplay. Yeah. The author of this story is having all of the fun here. Yeah, a firm release date. Hey, what are we doing back there? Nothing. <laughs> does, does Grady do the thing where you hear a loud crash and then as soon as you look at him, he freezes? Yes. Or he'll I run. I can't tell you how many times I walk into a room and just see them both going... Everything's fine. According to the pre-order page, the ring will answer questions such as, what's my thrust velocity? How fast are my thrusts? Why do you need thrusts? that? How many calories did that session just burn? How many times did I just have sex? What's the average temperature of my eggplant? What's my girth? And how many different positions did I just conquer? Okay. Conquer? Conquer? Conquer. Here's the thing. When you sign up and use these devices, they are collecting data mm -hmm. on you. Because in order to use this, presumably you have to have some sort of online account, which will need a name and an email address. Maybe just an email address. That'll still easily be attached to your name on the internet. It ain't hard. Right. Um, <laughs> but up, up. All of this information goes to a company who can then sell it to anyone. That's not even the part about that, this that uh, irritates me. It's like, let's just give asshole dude bros something else to be asshole dude bros about. Well, the, like, I can think of few things less sexy than a dude checking his fucking app to find out his thrust velocity. Well, they'll only be asshole dude bros until this database leaks to the internet and then every woman potentially can just look them up yeah. let's see it's how fast do they go there should how, be a metric it measures for how disappointed your partner is how long do you last what's your measurements yeah all of this shit yeah don't get there are no laws protecting your privacy about this shit like guys i'm here to tell you you don't need to know your thrust velocity. You don't. It's not information. Humanity has marched on for millions of years without anybody knowing their thrust velocity or precisely how many times they thrusted or any of that shit. You know what you need to know? Just because you're done doesn't mean it's done. Uh, if you want her to go down, be ready to reciprocate enthusiastically. Learn how to do it. Don't Just be an for asshole. fuck's sake, Google where is the clitoris? You'll find assistance. Yeah, find a find a find a good diagram for that stuff. We don't pee out of our vagina. That's a big one you need to know. Um, these don't come off, <laughs> no matter how hard you pull. Although God, I bet you wish sometimes they did. M mine don't really bother me. I mean, just get home from a long day, just like. <laughs> Man, I'm ready to relax now. Yay. And the fact that the bra comes off is is enough for me. <laughs> the best part of almost any woman's day is when she takes off her bra when she comes home. It's, what she likes is more important than what he likes. I don't think that's true. I think that's that's a level playing field. Everybody's got to be having fun. Yes. And e just, everybody's got to be enjoying the ride. This so is speak. And this is just one of those your this, thrust velocity means fuck all. All of this information is not secure. No. They can sell it to anyone. You are pretty much giving away your own embarrassment and or blackmail material. Yeah. Because you could literally have someone email you out of the blue and say, hey, unless you want the entire internet to know the size of your dick, send $50,000 in Bitcoin to this address. They can start sending you really, really embarrassing target ads on Facebook. 
I'm here to tell you, like, I posted an engagement picture. I posted a picture of my engagement ring. That day, I started getting wedding ads on Facebook. That fucking day. You'd they be, saw a picture of a diamond ring, and I was getting targeted ads about wedding shit. You'd be getting all them ads about how to make your dick longer. Every oh. single ad. Moving on, changing gears. You'd be um, in Amazon trying to buy your Magnums, and they'd be like, are you sure? Are you sure, though? Are you sure? Fooling. Nobody. Are you sure, though? Um, changing gears here. When did you learn to drive? What age? Uh, I learned to drive late. I learned to drive, I believe, at 20. Huh. Um, I was kind of phobic about it, so I was a late bloomer on the driving thing. I was 17. My dad took me to parking lot Sunday morning at the mall, like they used to be when shit actually closed on yeah. Sunday morning. We and went to the parking lot at the state park, yeah. and it turned out the guy. And as it happened, the guy down the block from us was a driving instructor. So, yeah, it's it. Normally later on, I've heard of some people learning to drive as early as you know fourteen or so, especially if they live on farms and they have farm equipment and whatnot. This is perhaps one of the earliest attempts to teach someone to drive I've heard of. And bonus, what a fucking mugshot. Holy shit. Did, did I blink? I think I blinked. Did I blink? Did I blink? Hold on. Can oh, I take no. another one? Did I blink? I think I blinked. Mom? She just wants us to see her hot white eyeliner. Mom streamed 10-year-old son driving. Oh, this is Connecticut. Connecticut mom allegedly let her 10-year-old son drive her car while she streamed it on Facebook. Why would you do that? Lisa Nussbaum of Monroe was charged on Friday with risk of injury or impairing morals of a minor. Nussbaum, 38, was released the same day. Impairing the morals of a minor. It's impairing a... the fucking spleen of a minor. <laughs> uh, Monroe police say they arrested Nussbaum after several residents reported having seen a Facebook Live broadcast showing a child driving a car on public roads through the town of about 20,000. Yeah, Monroe's a pretty small community. Lady, 10 years old. Y'all have got to start stop putting your dumbass crimes on Facebook. <laughs> I mean, my God. But don't let your 10-year-old drop. How do they even reach the pedals? Was it, how tall was this 10-year-old? That, that kid should be going out for basketball, man. Although somehow the little girl in Logan managed it. Well, yeah, but she had little claws on her feet. So. And I sat there wondering that. I'm like, how is she reaching? She's, She's got, so small. she got claws on her feet. So she was driving with claws. That's true. That's a good point. Yeah. You know, it's like, it's like you know, they used to drive with boxes tied. To, she has claws. She's yeah. That makes sense. And it was an automatic. So she didn't have to pop the clutch, which that would have been a little awkward. She would have cut the fucking thing and the car would have fallen apart. Mm -hmm. Um. Yeah. But yeah, why would why would you this is obviously illegal. In yeah. most states, as I understand it, the law is you without a license can be driving a car, learning to drive it, if you have a licensed driver in the passenger seat and you're of driving age. See, and I don't know how it is in Connecticut. In New York, you have to have a learner's permit. You have to take a written exam and get a learner's permit. Yeah. And have a licensed driver in the car. And you have to be old enough to do it. So obviously you're breaking the law. And you would have gotten away with it too. Had it not been for your stupid ass putting it on Facebook. Like what was. I guess maybe she thought it was funny. It's illegal. Yeah. And dangerous. You could have killed your child and or other people. Because your child doesn't know how to operate that vehicle. Speaking of not knowing how to operate that vehicle. Uh-oh. Florida. Back to Florida. I've been drunk many times. And I have known when I was drunk 
to call a goddamn cab or seek other alternate uh, methods of transportation. Normally a friend or even public. I was on a bus drunk once. I'm not proud. Um, Apparently the big, uh, the big problem with South by Southwest this year is Austin doesn't allow Uber. Uber or Lyft. So all the dude bro, the tech bros yeah. are all like, are all oh my God, it. I have to take have the to bus. Like, right. Oh they have God. to take like public transport. <laughs> like one of the plebeians. Oh my God. Give me a fading couch. Oh God. You fucking tech bros. But uh, this guy had a unique solution and boy, he looked mad. I mean, if we had the goofy uh, mugshot here, this gentleman does not look happy about his situation. Holy God. Look at this this buddy. Oh, he mad. You mad, bro? He oh mad, God. bro. I'd be mad with that sunburn, too. Drunk man steals forklift, quote, needed to drive. Marathon, Florida. Florida Keys authorities say a drunken man from Rhode Island stole a forklift and crashed into a gate, telling deputies he lost his car keys and needed something to drive. I mean, okay. 44-year-old sure. uh, Edward Quinton of Greenwich, Rhode Island, told deputies he was in the Keys helping friends move. Quinton was quoted as saying after he lost his keys Thursday night, he needed a vehicle and took the forklift from a marathon marina because he knew how to drive one. Quinton. He saw that video, that German safety video with Klaus. <laughs> Quinton also told deputies he thought he could fix the damaged gate. I can fix it. No, it's, it's okay. No, it's okay. Oh, yeah, I can fix it. I, I get, okay. you give me some, some, some duct tape and some plywood. I'll put the shit back together. I swear. It's, I fix it. Is no, it's no, man. It's, it's okay. I fit. I fit it. Fine. Breath test showed Quentin's blood alcohol level was twice Florida's legal limit. Faces drunk driving, criminal mischief, burglary, and grand theft charges. Gates are harder to fix than you would think. My sister ran over the chain link fence in our front yard when she was still a new driver. In my aunt's Chrysler LeBaron. <laughs> She ran over the four foot chain link fence and I have an uncle Neil who is a MacGyver of a guy like my uncle Neil can fix anything. So my mom's first phone call was to uncle Neil and he came over with his truck in a chain and he pulled the fence back up. Right. But that gate never worked right again. It is miraculous how you could just find a link to some bizarre story from your own life. And I heard it like I was sitting on the couch and I heard this loud crash and I look out and my mom was in the kitchen and she's like, Tara, what was that? And I was like, I don't know how to describe what that was. I think you just need to come in here. Maida in the chat writes, now climb on in. We have lost our car keys. This is the way we get ourselves home. We try to drive home with a forklift. <laughs> That was inspired. That was that was lovely. Very good. I just I'm just saying I doubt that he could have really fixed the fence. I mean the first if I see a forklift, I'm not thinking, oh well, I have a solution here. Yeah. I'm, I'm thinking I'm, <laughs> that no. wouldn't be my first vehicle of choice. No, it's it's this is not a good no, I I'm not no. That's a bad plan. It's yeah. also it would be faster to walk your drunk ass home than to drive a forklift. You're going to get killed by a Zamboni. <laughs> Five minutes. <laughs> and he looks so angry. He's Look so at angry. him. He's so angry. He's so mad. What? My, why? Why? <laughs> need a fucking good forklift. Our last one tonight. Oh, this mother. Fucker. All I can say is thank God for the incompetence of the American racist. Because this <laughs> guy. Have you noticed like everyone who goes on and on about the master race, they don't look like they belong to a master race. They're all fucking mutants. And I don't mean the X-Men kind with superpowers. 
and you know what? They're also not very good at it. No, they're not bright. And they're not super good looking, so I'm not sure what their master is of. Florida man tried to burn down store because Muslim owner didn't have his favorite kind of juice. Port St. Lucie, Florida man tried to burn down a convenience store on Friday because he mistakenly believed the owners were Islamic Arabs and he was angry at them for not carrying his favorite kind of orange juice. Is that is that terrorism now? According to WPTV, police arrested 64-year-old Richard Lloyd when he gave himself up at the scene and told sheriff's deputies he was trying to, quote, run the Arabs out of the country. Lloyd had visited the store in recent days and got into an altercation with the clerk on duty and the store owner because they did not carry his preferred brand of orange juice. Store owner, who is not Arabic, but Indian, and not a Muslim. Different. Told WPTV. Totally different. He was still in shock from the incident. Deputies arrived. They noticed the dumpster had been rolled in front of the doors and the contents were lit on fire. Puns. Wait, wait. He started a literal dumpster fire? That sounds about right, doesn't it? The man uh, identified Richard Ro Lloyd was read as Miranda rights and then told deputies he pushed the dumpster to the front of the building, tore down signs, posted on the outside, lit the contents of the dumpster on fire to, quote, run the Arabs out of our country. Okay, Richard. Here's a question. If you hate them so much, why do you shop there? And if they don't even carry the kind of juice you like, why do you shop there? Also, another question. Which poor, unsuspecting brand of orange juice is going to have to disavow this motherfucker? Richard. Richard, can I call you Dick? Dick. Yes. Um, listen, Dick. Uh, two things here. Number one. We don't run people out of anywhere. That's against the law yeah. in America. Even if they were Arabs. Number two, the fact that you can't tell an, an Indian from someone from the Middle East, you're not a very good racist, Dick. No, no, you're not. Well, I mean, he's probably a fantastic racist. He just hates everybody that's not white. Yeah, but you're not, you're not a very discerning racist. No. You got to be able to... Come on, Dick. You, you got to be able to, 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 to know, know your other races. How else can you use the proper slur? I mean, you, you'll, just, you'll just end up looking like a fool, Dick. We, we do not endorse racism or racial slurs of any kind. No, we don't. Here on Radio Dead Air. No, we don't. Dick. And look at him. He looks like a dick. Yeah, he does. Like, literally. Like, put a smart condom on his fucking head. Motherfucker. How did he think that if he told the police, it's okay, officer, I'm just trying to run the Arabs out of America. I'm just trying to make America great again. It's cool, right? No. You don't get to go home. No, it's fucking not. <clears throat> They're not going to go, oh, never mind, sir. By the way, would you like a commendation and a key to the city while we're at it? And it's sad that the story had felt that the reporter felt compelled to point out that the shop owner was not Muslim as though it would be OK if they yeah. were. It's not it, it's not I, I in, you know, in this case, it just means he's a fucking idiot. Worse. Right. I mean, it means he's even more stupid, but. Like, and that was always the pit part that pissed me off about, like, well, Obama's a secret Muslim. And I'm like, what What if he was? It's not illegal to be a fucking Muslim in America. What What if he was a secret Muslim? It is illegal to, take a, to block a store entrance with a dumpster and set shit on fire. That, that, that is, in fact, illegal. That's not, Ill that's not illegal. <sighs> Yeah, that's that's the first thing we learned tonight. Racist 
are not even very. I mean, god damn, they're not it's even like very not good even at anymore. I have said, I've said this before. Why do all these fucking bad guys have to be so goddamn incompetent? Especially when motherfuckers come at me on Twitter. It's like, Jesus Christ, I keep getting these rejects who were fighting Captain Planet. Where's my Lex Luthor, goddammit? I mean, do we want to encourage more competent racial violence? I don't. I know, but it's just... I'm, it's, I'm cool with the racists being fucking idiots. It's disappointing for me. I mean, I'm not even being challenged here. I, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not in the market for more competent racial violence. It's but. like if all Batman had was the condiment king, that was his entire villain's repertoire right there. He would be a little disappointed that he had to get all dressed up like a bat and spend a bedillion dollars on all that shit to fight one guy who's squirting mustard and ketchup everywhere. I think if Gotham's biggest problem was the condiment king... And Batman still did all of that. Batman's true enemy would be his micro penis. <laughs> Just saying. Oh, that's a that's a solution looking for a problem. We've learned <laughs> if you're drunk, you should not be driving. Especially remember this Friday, St. Patrick's Day. Not drive drunk. I will kick you in the dick. Yeah. Um, and don't drive a forklift either. Do not drive drunk, and just because you know how to operate a forklift, allegedly, you still shouldn't do it when you're drunk. You shouldn't. I mean, for fuck's sake. We've learned that, please, for the love of God, you should really stop streaming your crimes on Facebook. Please. Stop putting Don't your pictures on Facebook. Don't stream it on Facebook. Like, maybe just keep your crime private. Stop, stop, you know... It, I would like our I would like our law enforcement community to have to earn their salary, okay? Yeah. You're, you're, I mean, I don't want them put in any danger. But you're making it you're you're making them a but, little lax is all I mean, I'm let's saying. I don't bore them to death either. Yeah. At least make them ask some questions and write in their notepads. We've learned that you really don't need to compete on the internet with your fucking. I mean, there's not even an award for it, for Christ's sake. I mean, there is if you do it on film professionally. Yeah, that's true. But, you know, there's not, you, you're on, it's like that, that's the difference between getting an Oscar and sitting at home unlocking Xbox achievements. Yeah. You know, why, why don't, don't do that. And also when that data gets out, it's going to come back and bite you in the ass. We've learned, um, sometimes the universe conspires in such a perfect way. As to set a lawyer's pants on fire as he's giving that's in Florida. You better be careful because some the gods of irony, they are everywhere and they are capricious. They're a little overworked right now, but they will get to you eventually. And Just I, I want to do a little PSA before we go. Because, as we've mentioned, St. Patrick's Day is Friday. Mm. And I just want to remind everybody, a shamrock has three petals. A four-leaf clover has four. Shamrock is Irish because St. Patrick used it to explain the Trinity to the Irish pagans. Four-leaf clover has fuck all to do with anything. Well, it's, it's delicious and cereal. Fuck all to do with St. Patrick's Day. Fuck all to do with Irish people. Uh, it's patty with two D's, not two T's. To all beef patty special sauce. Nobody drinks green beer except posers. Like, nobody. It's not a thing. The only thing green beer is, is the thing that the bars use to make drunk idiots drink the shittiest beer they've got. Yes. So, make me proud out there. Don't drive. Just don't drive. And, and don't wear orange. Even if you think you're being cool and ironic, you're just being an asshole. And finally, we've learned your microwave can't spy on you. And the people who are speaking for our government are scary stupid. Yeah. I mean, you, 
you serious? You couldn't get away with this shit on an episode of fucking CSI. If you did that on The Apprentice, he would fire you. 